This is going to be a complete beginner's guide for the nightclub. I'm going to go over exactly how to earn money from the nightclub, how much it's going to cost you, how long it's going to take to get your money back and make your first $1 million profit. As well as this, I will throw in some tips and tricks as well. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get right into the video. So as you can see, I'm currently outside my nightclub right now and I have bought this one, which is at the bottom of the map. To purchase a nightclub, all you have to do is go to your phone go to Maze Bank for closures. And in the top right, which won't be able to see because my face comes in the way, it says nightclubs. Just click that. And as you can see, I've bought this one at the bottom. Do I recommend it? No, only if you have a small amount of money. Otherwise, go for one close in the city. But overall, it's not going to make that much difference. It's just for the sell missions. And right now, it is double money and discounts as well with the nightclub. So ignore the prices. So you've chose your nightclub. What do you need to actually get on your nightclub? Nightclub style, you need that. No, I'm, I'm joking. You don't need nightclub style. Have it if you want it. If you've got the spare money, go for it. Lighting rig, the same thing. It's all cosmetic. There's quite a few cosmetic things you can make your nightclub look pretty cool. Nightclub name is the same. You don't need that. But for storage, this is where it's interesting because this is your warehouse. You can have up to five extra floors. Now, I'll go over that later on to tell you exactly how much money you're going to need. But if you have the money... Go for all five. It just means you can store more money in your nightclub, but you don't need all five. And for the cars, you don't need four. Completely up to you if you want four. I've just gone for one. There's quite a few garage spaces available in other garages. Dancers and dry ice. Again, cosmetic things. They look cool. You don't need them. $241,000 for dry ice right now. The only thing I will mention is the nightclub I currently own. If you try to recall in a personal vehicle, I'll just try it right now. So I'll call my mechanic and I'll request a random vehicle, go with the Turismo R for some reason, and we'll wait for it to be delivered. And as you can see on the map, it always spawns across the river. I don't know why. So now it means I've got to run all the way to the highway to get a car, which sucks. That's the only downside. The only way around it is to spawn a sparrow if you own one, which is what I normally do. And as you can see, even that spawned on the other side of that building, <laughs> which is just annoying. So that's anything to watch out with this nightclub. So you've just purchased your nightclub. Let's go inside and talk about how to actually earn money with this thing. So the first way to earn money is through popularity or the wall safe. You can hold up to $250,000 in this wall safe. And the way it works is through your popularity. When you first purchase a nightclub, your popularity will be full and that means that you'll earn $50,000 every 48 minutes which is a GTA day but it will go down your popularity bill so you have to keep it up you have to maintain it which is slightly annoying but there are a few ways to do that the first one is by kicking out a troublemaker and you'll get $10,000 and your popularity will go up a little bit and the other one is by taking a VIP to the limo or the hospital or the rehab <laughs> which is annoying again because it's like a side mission you've got to do constantly to keep your popularity up and no one wants to do that usually if you exit your nightclub and then go into passive mode and enter it'll spawn a troublemaker for you and you can kick them out and um, you used to be able to do that on repeat but that's been patched you can do it once every so often now the other way to do your popularity is through the nightclub management and you click promote club. You can also go to your phone and call Tony. Wait, well, let me do it right now because I'm actually in my nightclub. You need to be out of your nightclub. It's gonna give you a mission which takes about 20 minutes to complete. You're gonna fly a blimp to three different locations, super slow, super boring. And if you do it in a public lobby, you can actually get shot down. This isn't the way that people actually get their popularity up. The way most people do it, and it costs money, but it's worth it, is through the resident DJ. Now. These for me cost $100,000 each and that is because I've never booked them before. That's because I'm on a new account and I don't really use this account. But if you have booked them, they're going to cost you $10,000. And each time you book one, your popularity is going to go up 10%. So what you want to do is book one and then go over to the next one and book one. Then go over to the next one and book one and do that 10 times in total $100,000 but your popularity is gonna be full. Now, if they do cost 100,000, you only have to click on it once, go and collect the DJ from a certain location, and then your popularity will be full as well. I do wanna mention as well that uh, when it costs $10,000, 
each time you click it, it will bring up a cutscene. You can't skip it. It's annoying. That is, you can't skip it if you book it from this PC. But if you head over here, go down to the basement level one, you can actually use this computer right here and you won't get any cutscenes. And while we're down here, this brings me to my second way to earn money through the nightclub and by far the best. And that is the warehouse stock. So you want to go to warehouse management and you'll see this screen right here where you need to buy five technicians. To get all five, it's gonna cost you a total of $877,000. And you have to assign them to these businesses right here. The best ones you want are cash creation, pharmaceutical research, cargo and shipment, sporting goods, and South American imports. They actually relate to businesses which you might already own or you might need to buy. For example, the businesses which you actually want to have or the special cargo warehouse. You'll also need a CEO office so that you can get one of those. The Bunker, MC Cola, the Breaking Bad Lab, and Counterfeit Cash Factory. In total, that's gonna cost you $5,100,000. Add the total of the five technicians and the nightclub, and it's gonna cost you over $7 million to get this part of the nightclub set up. All right, now it's on discount, so it'll be even cheaper if you're watching this video right now. So what do you have to do with these technicians to actually earn money? All you have to do is literally just press assign, and every 48 minutes, they'll all gather stock for you passively. If you have the businesses, which I've said, you'll earn $50,000 every 48 minutes on top of your popularity. So this business is gonna earn you $100,000 every hour, completely passively. So with everything in mind, it's going to take you a total of 71 hours to make your money back, which isn't that bad, I think. It also means that it's going to take 81 hours to make your first $1 million profit. That is only if the nightclub for you isn't double money. When it comes to sell missions, as you can see right now, I've got $603,000 ready to sell. And if we go back, you can see just how much stock that actually is. It's not even one fifth of the amount that can hold, the nightclub can hold, which is absolutely mental. So it's up to you if you want to let it fill up to the max before you sell it, or you can sell it now. The reason why you sell it now is because when you do sell it, you get a smaller sell vehicle. Whereas if you let it fill up, you'll have a big chunky one that takes ages to drive around the map. And if you're going to be doing this in a public lobby because you'll earn more money, 2% more money per player in that lobby, up to 20 players, then you're going to want to have the smaller, faster vehicle. And the last thing that's worth going over is the upgrades. I can't remember how much these are because I've purchased them already. Either way, the equipment upgrade is worth having. This increases the speed at which your five technicians will gather stock. So it's a must have. And also the staff upgrade is worth having because like I said before your popularity will decrease but this will slow the time it takes for it to decrease meaning you have to maintain it a lot less and security upgrade you don't need it some people might say you need it if you have the spare money go for it i have never ever been raided in my nightclub and i've played this game for a long time so you don't need it it just stops you from getting raided stops you even though you don't get raided anyway. And before the end of the video, I'm gonna show you one last tip with the nightclub and it's pretty cool and actually save you quite a bit of time. So as you can see right now, I'm next to my nightclub. That's just because I came outside just to show you this. But if you was anywhere else on the map, for example, Sandy Shores, you don't wanna travel all the way to your nightclub just to see how much popularity you've still got. So instead, all you have to do is phone up Tony. And if you just look in the top left right now, you can actually see it tells you how much current popularity you've got. Mine's at 5%, maybe I should go and fill that up a little bit. And if you wanna request a limo, you can do that as well. And that is everything. So in total, if you just wanna get the popularity, all you need is $1 million to actually buy the nightclub. Or if you wanna make the most of it, you'll need $7 million. Do I think it's worth it? Yes, it actually is worth it. Let me know what business you want me to do next. And I'll see you in the next video.